welcome back to the Mom and Grace space. We are so excited. We have a new box to unbox for you today. And Grace wants to tell you a little bit about our socials and where you can like and subscribe. Um, well, obviously, you can like and subscribe right here on YouTube. Click the like button and the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to make sure you never miss one of our videos when we post. We're posting Wednesdays. We post Misfit boxes. And Fridays, we're posting other fun subscription boxes and unboxings. You can also check us out on Instagram at the mom and grace space, but and is spelled A N D instead of the ampersand. Ampersand. Yeah. You can also check us out on Facebook at the mom and grace space. And today we are opening a vegan cuts box. This is not a sponsored ad. Um, grace bought this with her very own money yes. for me for my birthday, so I am really excited to open this. I asked for a vegan cut subscription um, from somebody, and she is the one who subscribed to this for me. Um, there is a snack box, a makeup box, and a beauty box. And she got me the beauty box. I was open to any of them. Um, so we are excited to see what is in the beauty box and how is it different than the makeup box. Mm -hmm. And um, a little bit about vegan cuts. They're cruelty free, they're obviously vegan and their products are non-toxic. So excited to try them. Um, for me, I have used toxic products before and definitely when I was younger, I would just get the cheap drugstore stuff. But as I've gotten older, I wanted to learn more and take better care of my skin and you know better, you do better. So I really want that to be important um, for Grace the whole time that she's using beauty products. I do not really want her putting those toxins and chemicals on her skin, which is your biggest organ when we have done such a good job of feeding our bodies well, um, that I don't want her to damage her skin and the elasticity and all of that stuff. So from the get-go, it's important to me that she has good quality products. This box was $22, just in case we're wondering, too. So we did say, we both agreed, when we got this out of the mailbox, we were like, that's really small. <laughs> yeah. It's heavy. But it yeah. was kind of small. It was smaller than we thought, right? So hopefully it's not like just a bunch of sample products. That... Yeah. So, pop it open. This is what it looks like when you first open it. Let's see, a little closer. Looks like it's pretty full. Yeah, looks pretty full. Yeah. And the card, you want to read the card? Sure. This, it says that this box supports honeybees, pollinators, and vital insects at the New York Bee Sanctuary. So something cool about Vegan Cuts is every monthly subscription, they choose a new organization to support. So this month, they were supporting the New York Bee Sanctuary. Also, the theme for this beauty box is fruit, floral, and fresh sea breeze. Very spring-like. So there are five products in here, and I will start with this one. It is a whipped soap and scrub, and it's a French lavender scent. I've never used a whip scent. Soap. This is the Pacha Soap Company French Lavender Whip Soap and Scrub. It is 1.8 ounces and it is worth two dollars. It's a whipped soap and scrub. The whipped soap and scrub combines creamy whipped soap and a blend of natural exfoliants. Your Pacha Soap purchase helps fuel clean waters innovatives, small scale soap shops, and other sustainable ventures in developing countries. You want to smell it? Ooh, it smells like a lavender essential oil. Yeah, it doesn't smell like a fake no. fragrance lavender. Um, and it does say that there's no synthetic fragrance, which is really important to me. I just had a friend on Facebook share a picture of her, and she was had like really terrible burns all over her chest. And it was from using a um, laundry detergent, or a fabric softener, I'm sorry, with a fragrance in it that just tore her skin up. So that's important to me. And then it's SLS free, paraben free, and sulfate free, which is all kind of thick. Very nice. This is a little bit bigger. That is the Masami Me Mekabu Shine Serum for your hair. There is two ounces of it, and it's actually thirty-four dollars. Wow. Which is ends up being more, more than, than the box, box itself. Okay. Um. There's a fun fact. Mekabu is the flowering part of the same sea plant as wakame. 
Mm, that smells really good. Oh, it smells when used so in hair good. care, seaweed coats strands with essential fatty acids and nutrients, helping them rebuild and grow stronger while improving texture and shine. So, this is super, super silky. Feel my hand. Oh, yeah. It, it smells like that amazing smell when you just leave the salon and you're like, Oh my gosh, I never want to wash my hair. It smells amazing. That's exactly what this smells like. Mm -hmm. It's so clean, and it's not like a floral. It just almost smells like a wonderful ocean vacation. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Um, it does say that you dispense a few drops through clean, towel-dried hair in style as usual, or add a few drops to dry hair if needed. Do not rinse. Something so. cool is Masami means truly beautiful. So now this little guy. Okay, that is the Soul Spring Soothing CB CBD Muscle Rub Salt. South. South. There is only 0.15 ounces, but it's worth four dollars. It's the perfect balance of relieving botanicals, eucalyptus, mint, hemp CBD, and menthol. I've never used a CBD product. No. It smells like cough drops. Like it's very strong eucalyptus and menthol, and yeah, it smells like drops. a cough drop. Um, but I think that like I love to use peppermint essential oil on my neck and or pan away um, to really relieve some pain in the morning I, after I've probably slept funny. And so this I think actually really will help. Okay, so okay, next is the OC Ocean Lotion. I've heard of this um, brand before, but I've never used it. You get one ounce, and it's $18. Instant absorbing universal lightweight moisturizer deeply hydrates and nourishes skin. Flaky skin, organic seaweed delivers vitamins, minerals, amino acids, and trace amino. element amino acids and trace elements. Shea butter, rosehip, and kuka oils visibly increase the appearance of elicity. elasticity. Elasticity. So it will help prevent wrinkles, ladies and gents. Um, this says to use after sun uh, care on the back. I saw that. And it mm -hmm. says that it uh, has wild seaweed in it and it's lightweight and unscented and it's gluten free, which was a little bit of a surprise to me just recently. Do you want to use a little of that? Sure. I took a big pump. Um, oh, it's really soft. It goes on really silky. Recently, I was looking over some of the products that I have that are natural and toxin-free, and I noticed a lot of the lotions I had had gluten in them, and we have not been consuming gluten in our diet, but yet I've been putting it on my skin. So, this is a nice product. It doesn't use. really smell anything. Yeah. The closest thing that it smells like to me, honestly, is probably Play-Doh. Well, like, were you playing with Play-Doh earlier? No, it just smells like, it kind of has a, like... It's not as strong as Play-Doh, but it has, like, the weird... I don't smell anything. All I smell is the hair serum. So, I think that it's pretty much unscented. It pretty much is, yeah. But it is really lightweight, and I do think if you had a little bit of a sunburn, it would feel very good on that. Okay, last Ooh, blueberry thing papaya. is a Tasu Blueberry Papaya Mask. Um, You get two ounces, and it is $22. Wow. So, that's the price of the box itself. Um, it's a non-drying, creamy face mask that ex ex exfoliates and moisturizes. So you get a like pretty that. big package there. Yeah, it's really, this is what was so heavy in this box. And uh, I hope Grace does not steal this from me because she loves a good sheet mask or face mask. And it says to leave this on for 10 or 15 minutes. Oh, it smells like grapefruit. What is it? Blueberry papaya? It smells like... Smells it good. smells like an ocean breeze candle or something like that. It smells really good. It smells good. It's not like overly citrus, but I do like smell a hint of grapefruit or something. Hmm. Oh, here it says, my super ingredients are blueberry, papaya, b banana, vitamin C, and hydrolonic acid. I am 100% vegan. I am free of phylates, parabens. SLS, mineral oil, synthetic fragrance, and animal testing. So all of these were cruelty free. I think I said that earlier. This not, one was gluten free. And that one was gluten free. 
I'm excited. I have never had any of these brands before, and I'm excited to try them all and see which ones I love and would want to purchase again. I just what do you think? added up the total um, of the total cost based on what they gave me on the back of this, and the total cost for these five products is eighty dollars. So you think it was a good purchase? Yes. You get like a fifty-eight dollar discount. Well, not fifty-eight, forty-eight. So. So totally worth it, like much better than had we wanted to try just a few little products. Right. And even like the sample size things were like $4. Or even if we bought this all individually, it would have been a lot more than getting it in the vegan cuts box. Mm -hmm. And these are actually great sizes too to travel with. Yeah. So most of them were all under the three fluid ounces. So easy all enough. All of them are under travel. three. They're all under, two yeah. or under. So that will be nice. If we do get out of quarantine and are able to travel again this summer we have high hopes that we will get to go yes. on our vacation and these would be great to take with us comment down below what your favorite thing that we got from the box is and comment down below what other boxes you want us to see us unbox <laughs> all right thanks for joining us today guys have a good day bye